in trouble? Yeah, a little bit on this one. Oh, you jumped to this one already? So walk me through this first so we can make sure we're on. Did you do two points A and B? Mm -hmm. Show me them. A and B. You connected them? Good. But for this one, they want you to actually, you're, you're ahead, you're saying it's an acute angle, but what is your angle? Where is it? What mm -hmm. letters make your angle? Did you draw an arc? So what would your angle be called? Um, an acute angle. But what would we call, like, just like you're a Luke, I wouldn't say you're a boy. I wouldn't say bo little boy, I would say Luke. So what would we call this angle? What would its name be? Mm. How did we name, when we named the point, what's this point called? Point B. Good, what's this point called? Point B. So when I look at this angle that you've given me an arc for, what would we call it? What are its letters? A, C, and D. Excellent, can you write that down? You don't have to erase, that's fine, you can put it underneath. And do you remember the little symbol that we use to show it's an angle? And if you're not sure, then you can always just write the word angle. Or, remember we like to cheat, there's your angle sign, okay? Nice, so you're stuck here. All right, so what do they want you to use? Um, the house. So where's the house? Now the first thing they say to do is what? Observe the familiar figures. Okay, so you looked at them. Then what do they want you to do? Label points on each figure. So can you find where some points would be on there and label them, give them letters? Excellent, go all over the house and keep going. If you're stuck, let me know. Um, question? Yep. Um, since you said that it should be, that the, the one that's in the middle should be in the middle, I put it on all these. Excellent. Go. We did this, right? Mm -hmm. I have two there. So right now, D, A. Can that be a ray? This would be a ray and that would be a lightning segment. Okay, but the way you've drawn it here, let's pull it out, because sometimes it's easier to see it this way. You have D, A, right? Mm -hmm. What is that right there? That, the whole thing, the whole picture right now. What would you call that? Good. What, is I, what do I need to have a ray? Um, a point, a line segment that's been extended into a line. Did anybody tell me that I couldn't do this? No. So what happens now? So now you have line segment AL and LD, but you still have the line going on. What else could I call this? Call that. I'm going to pull it out again. Then that's, it makes it you could call that a ray because... You split the thing in half, and it only has two ends to go on. So you could have um, Ray A L and Ray L D. Okay. With me? 